Ministers of the Group of 77 and China met on Tuesday at UN headquarters to increase cooperation on issues facing developing countries. Headed by the leadership of Yemen, G77 ministers discussed the global economic food and energy crisis, which have left millions of people in worse socioeconomic conditions. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon told G77 members that development policies need to be streamlined and better coordinated, focusing on the poorest and most vulnerable populations. The Secretary General recalled the G77 summit statement, stating that, quote, no country will fall short short of the MDGs simply because of lack of resources. Policy coordination among South, South partners is increasingly important. Regional and sub-regional organizations have made good strides in this area, but more work is needed. Members agreed that further efforts must be at the forefront of discussions to ensure a global consensus aimed at establishing a global governance structure. Unemployment and underemployment are a top concern, as well as a degradation of the environment causing devastating damage. In the way of sustainable development, the G77 deliberated on measures, policies and programs aimed at educating people in order to raise nations out of poverty. Focus was driven toward the least developed countries, the small island states, and Africa. I think on all the major issues, whether it is the environment or whether it is uh, sustainable development, and that uh, hopefully that the uh, meetings and the documents we have prepared will be approved by the group of 77 to, I think, to the benefit of the group of 77 and uh, the world at large. Tajikistan was admitted as a new member of the G77 on Tuesday, making its membership reach 131 countries. The group of 77 was established on June 15th of 1964 by 77 developing country signatories of the joint declaration of the 77 countries. Argentina will hold the leadership of the G77 in 2011. Afaf Kanja, South South News, United Nations.